All right, welcome everybody. My name is Tiffany, I'm the Tipsy Artist. And today we are painting the lovely Joy flower. It is beautiful. Let's talk about our supplies really quick. All right, we have three awesome brushes here. I have my mama, and then my little buddy, and then my little bit. All right, and we wanna make sure we've got paper towels nearby or a rag, and then bucket of water to give them a bath. And then we've got some paint nearby. And then of course, that's just on some paper plates, anything that's handy like that. All right, so our very first step, we're gonna do all the light colors first. And I'm going to be working in a beautiful golden color for the sunflowers. All right, so what I've got going on here is I have um, some gold and a little bit of the yellow and the white. So I'm going to just be using a mix of all three of those. It's going to be absolutely amazing. So I do a little bit of white here with the gold, a little bit of the bright yellow, and then we're gonna go ahead and just push this into each one of those petals. Just like that. And that will be my very first step. It's just going ahead and doing all of that beautiful, bright color to begin with. And when we're going around all of the petal edges, you wanna hold the brush just like you would hold a pencil. So you want that line edge facing the canvas. And then we'll go ahead and fill in. And when we do, then we turn the handle over to the side. And then we just go ahead and fill into the petal just like that. Ta-da! That looks beautiful. Okay, our next step will be to mix up some of the beautiful turquoise that will come into the leaf shapes here. All right, so I'm going to be using the Mama Brush again, and I wanna make sure she is nice and clean and now dry, and I'm gonna go ahead and mix up my turquoise. And turquoise is a beautiful mix of just like a little bit of white here, and then a little bit of green, and then a little bit of blue. So I'm gonna mix all three of those colors together. So again, that is white, blue, and green. So white, blue, and green, just about equal parts on that. And then I've got my beautiful turquoise color. So this is what I use for the leaf shape. And then I'm gonna use the line edge of the brush to first make my way around that shape. And 
And then when I do fill in the center, then I want to go ahead and turn that handle over to the side. And then that will help me get really good coverage over the top of that surface area. All right, so again, a little bit of green, a little bit of blue, a little bit of white. Mix all that together. That gives me turquoise. And then I'm going to go ahead and do my line. And voila, we are done with our beautiful background of our leaves. All right, and then the next step will be to go ahead and do some beautiful accent colors here. So what we want to do is now we want to use our smaller brush, our little bit brush here, and a little bit of red. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick little twist into the paint. And then I'm just going to do some light highlights around each one of those petals. It's just a little bit random, just here and there. And you will get a nice soft blend into that gold as well, which is really nice. Okay, super pretty. All right, and then you can do a little bit of another accent too if you'd like. This is optional, but just a little bit more of a hint of the turquoise that comes into the petals as well. So I'm a little bit more sparing with this accent. So I just want this one to be just a teeny amount, little minimal accent there, but just a little bit here and there. That is looking phenomenal. Okay, so now what we're left with is we've got our black to do, which is going to happen in the center and then also all the way around the outside. And I was definitely very intentional about leaving the black to be the very last step because the black can really interrupt all the brightness of the color and muddy it. So we wanna make sure that's the very last thing that we do. So I'm gonna get more black going there. And then we're going to go ahead and come back in with our biggest brush. And I do want to make sure that it's nice and dry so that I don't get any uh, water runs happening because especially with the black paint, it will look a lot like a mascara run. So we do not want that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just push into this center. And go ahead and do the center here with the black all the way through. And then when we go to fill in, we go ahead and turn that handle over to the side. It's looking really pretty there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the outlines around the shapes of the leaves. Get that part done first so that I've got nice clean borders to work inside and that'll help give you a lot of freedom when you go to fill in the rest. So, and again, just as you do the line work, you wanna make sure and hold the brush like a pencil so you're letting the line edge of the brush do that work for you. And then once you go to fill in, then you can turn that handle over to the side. And then that will help fill in that larger area there.
uh, one other touch you can do as you start to make your way around the petals too, is you can also start to do the line edge that goes in and around the petals as well. So I'm gonna show you that. But also before you do that, make sure that your line edge is very, very thin. And Siri is trying to talk to me. So let's go back to that line edge. So we can go ahead and do a line just right around that petal right there. So I'll do every other one to start with. And then when I finish up at the very end, then I'll come back through with a smaller brush and I'll do those tinier little petals that come peeking through behind. You notice I'm scraping every time, that keeps the edge of my brush really thin, so you get those nice thin lines every time. Okay, so it's starting to look really good. I have a few more little details here that I need to do. These all got surrounded by black here, but I have a few more that I need to work in just right there. So I'll do thin little lines there, and then here, all right, and then there. All right, awesome. So I think we're all done with all the black outline work. Okay, so then I wanna do a few more little sketches of details with the black. All the way around the leaves here. Very nice. All right, and then I have a little bit of detail that I can do in the center uh, to help frame this in with white and then also the word. I'm gonna go ahead and smooth away that little bit of excess black happening and I'm gonna to try to just go ahead and smooth that out. Makes it a little bit easier to dry and also to write on top of too. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you a really fun little trick where we do little dots and I'm going to use a wooden handle. So just like this. I am going to go ahead and press into the white paint. All right, just like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and you can do dots and dashes or you can just do dots all the way around. So I'm going to go ahead and just do a lot of dots all the way around because that's going to be a really fun way to frame it in. 
And this is a really fun, easy technique that you can do because it works out this way every single time. So just a really fun way to make polka dots. Awesome. That looks so cute. I love that. Okay, so now what we need to do is the lettering on the inside. Now what I will recommend is if you have a little bit more time, like I'm always filming so I try to work quickly, uh, but you can let this set up and dry and then use your pencil to write out the word and then that way if it doesn't quite work out, then you have the opportunity to erase and rework it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just show you here, even though mine's not quite dry just yet, but that gives me, I can see that up close that I've got my word there. Then I'm gonna come back in with a tiny liner brush. I'm gonna do a quick little twist. I'll twist the handle in between my fingertips, and then that will you know, basically load it into a nice fine point for me. And then I will just follow along with where I've got that word in place there. And then mine's got a little bit of the, since mine's still wet, I have to do a little bit of a backup here with the second coat, just to make it stand out since it kind of did a little bit of a drag into that black paint there. A few more little highlights. Sweet, okay. So we are done and it is beautiful. So this is your lovely Joy Sunflower. And we just wanna thank you again so very much for painting with us. And all the supplies can be found on our website, tipsyartist.com. And then we also sell lovely templates to match every shape as well. So we've got everything that you need. And just thank you so very much again. Toodles.